Well, that is the million dollar question. And once again, with, we are with Charlie McLean here in uh, Mülheim an der Ruhr. And Charlie, welcome and thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Always a pleasure to be in Mülheim. Uh, I would like to talk to you about um, yeah, how the whiskey industry developed over the last few years. What's, what's your view on that? Uh, the development has been massive in terms of the expansion of the number of distilleries and in terms of the expansion of uh, existing distilleries. By my recent estimation, actually it's probably a couple of years old now, um, 37 new distilleries have opened in Scotland since 2004. Um, a further 32 are proposed. This is unprecedented in the whole history of Scotch whisky. Um, and of course the same is going on in, in Germany, uh, in France, all over the world. America, hundreds. I mean, they say in Germany, thousands of small stills, often making liqueurs, schnapps, uh, now making um, malt whiskey or distilling malted barley. Unprecedented, unprecedented. Um, in Scotland, the capacity, the amount of whiskey which the industry is capable of making has gone up by slightly over 60% in, since 2004. Um, and probably a bit more now because more distilleries have, have uh, bigger distilleries have, have opened. But is all this whiskey needed really? Well, that is the million dollar question. Where is it all going to go? Um, and that's an imponderable. But the, the big companies obviously employ people to guess what the demand will be, global demand, mainly for blended scotch at the moment, but also for single malt whiskey in 5, 10, 15, 20 years time. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you can only hope that they've, they've got their sums right. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that a lot of the, 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 these wing and a prayer, you know, these smaller uh, distilleries will probably find it very, very difficult um, to sustain production. It's all very well raising, you know, five to ten million pounds to build a distillery, but then you've got to sustain very considerable investment, you know, three, five thousand pounds a day to keep the thing going um, until you've got whiskey for, for the first three years. Uh, with all your costs, the wood costs, the, the energy costs, the staff costs, the, and so on. And not um, to forget the, the amount of Irish distilleries that's coming. Irish distilleries, again, yeah. Japanese distilleries. Yeah. Ireland has gone from three to, I think, 17 distilleries mm. in the same period. Japan has gone from, I think, about four to about the same, about 11 or something like that. Um, so there's the, the, and it follows a, a steep upturn, happily, uh, for, for all of us involved in the trade. Um, a very keen interest in whiskey, mm. a whiskey generic, not only Scotch. You know, but the um, um, whiskey, like anything else, is subject to, to, to fashion. Of course. Um, although over the long history of whiskey, it's had its ups and downs, but it has prevailed. You know, and in and a lot, I'm often asked, you know, is this a threat to Scotch whiskey? And it isn't really, because at the moment, um, um, Scotch sells three times as much as all the, or I think twice as much as all the others put together at, at the moment. This may change. And it is, frankly, it's not important, but we, the, the rather arrogant view that we take in the Scotch whiskey industry is that um, you know, if people enter through enjoying German whiskey, I mean, I was tasting some German whiskey just now, superb, um, very young, mm. but, or Irish or American whiskey, whatever. The, the, but in the end, all roads lead to Scotch. Because yes. Scotch offers this variety of flavours, um, uh, so the, the the Scotch whisky industry can't be complacent, um, and it often tends to be. But the the um, but the forecast at the moment is, as far as one can tell, is rosy. Um, it, there's a lot of 
activity all over the world, a lot of interest in Scotch whisky in the media. Um, the prices achieved at auction are ridiculous, uh, but this all elevates the product to what it, what, it, what it should be, which is a noble spirit, do you know. Yeah. So, you know, guardedly, uh, I'm, I'm confident. Carly, thank you for your views on that, and have a nice day here in, in Mulham. Thank you for talking Thank you very us. much indeed.